Hello everyone, Alfred Monty here. Just a quick shout out to R2 Modman, the mod modding platform that I use for Risker Rain 2, where we can get a large variety of mods. Some I have enabled, some I have disabled, but most of these mods I do have installed with my current run. So yeah, there's a large variety of mods that you can download. I uh, just need to download R2 Mothman. Not sponsored, but I figure I'd give this modding platform a quick shout out. So on to the Risk of Rain 2 gameplay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Risk of Rain 2 with your host, Alfred Monty. So today we're gonna be playing with a few mods uh, that I got from R2 Mothman. I will post my R2 Modman profile in the description as a code. He is the Pathana R2 Modman, and you can play with all the same mods that I am using. So today we're going to be playing with Nemesis Commando, one of the modded characters. We also have another modded character here, and one that I need to unlock in this section there. We're going to be playing Nemesis Commando, and they unlocked here, but I believe I will just do the default skin. And also he has a little bit of a Christmas hat for the holidays. We're gonna be playing on Monsoon as usual. And there's also a different difficulty mode, Typhoon. I don't believe I'm ready for that right now. So we're just gonna be doing Monsoon. We're gonna be doing default everything here. And we may also try to go for some attack speed to inflict as much gouge on enemies as possible to unlock the alternative special. So let's get into it. Alright, the Nemesis Commando. Oh. Hmm. The Nemesis Commando, what makes him so special? Oh, uh, he has a sword. So, a little bit more reminiscent of Mercenary, honestly. And also has a gun as well. The gun you have to reload, you can see on the bottom right hand corner. That I start with eight bullets. I have to reload consistently. So those two damage chests are. Hey, well, vendor here as well. Probably go for the fireworks. I think. So that quick firing, uh, like spread shot is my is my special this fire is a big spread um, yeah. let's get some items from the damage chest gasoline I can plan and crit right. So you might be asking what's so special about Gouge. Now, it might be different from how it first came out, but I remember Gouge as being able to do on-hit effects. So things like critting to inflicting debuffs, I believe Gouge is able to do all of those things. At least uh, from memory, I remember it being able to do those things. So it's a very powerful status effect, and I, I like it quite a bit. This chest here. Good Paula. Right, what do we got? Yep, please. You can also do your gouge debuff on top of shooting your pistol. I will say that gouge shreds it. The gasoline is actually doing a lot of work as well. Ok, 
Okay. I will say though, one of Nemesis Commando's main weaknesses, even though he does have a pistol, I believe is probably range. Eh. I'm in true because of the R. Eh. Maybe mobility because it just kind of the basic roll. Even with Commando, you have the alternative uh, special attack. Well, not special attack. The alternative utility skill, or it's a, either a jetpack or a dash. So you get some aerial momentum. You have to kind of do weird physics-based stuff like that in order to get any special kind of. Move. Okay, let's buy this drone. I'm gonna head out, I think. Here we go. And we'll grab this barrel on the way out. Okay. Doing good, doing good. That over there, Topaz Brooch. Not too interested in that. There's a chest up there. There's the bounty. Purchase death mark. Always a good item to bet on, especially with characters that have natural death effects built in. Oh, careful. I thought I heard something. Might have been in there. Okay. Oh. I believe I want the blue portal, but we'll get on that for a little bit. Up and Daisy, an item that I don't think I've been able to. So what I would like to see is a Chrono Bobble would be great to have. Where was that? Best over. bet on fireworks. Just utility chest and do we want blue portal right now? And see a scrapper, so I'm not gonna think too much of it. Boss over here, right? Yes, sir.
Keep him fucking gouge. Take him down these out. Go. Woo! Alright, so we got Haunted Lamp. Every five attacks, uh, we get Haunted Lamp attack. So yes, uh, oh, I should have mentioned this a lot earlier. The DLC I've been working with that comes with Nemesis Commando is Starstorm 2. Definitely should have mentioned that in the beginning. Uh, fantastic. A fantastic mod, it is huge. The amount of stuff it comes with is massive. Ooh, that's what they do. Right. There was the Yeah, the mod is called Starstorm 2. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic mod. Larger than the Survivors of the Void DLC that Poku Games came out with. Now on to the next stage. Got the money from the shrine. How much? So we did get here, sub ten minutes, however. We did get here sub 10 minutes, however, we could not get to the Crayon Accumulator chest. Unfortunate, but can't win them all. Oh, okay. Okay. Try to get that heal. Okay. Raincoat is incredible. So I will say the quality of the animations. Um, I mean they're 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 like Hopu level kind of quality. Like if you told me that this was like the next DLC, I, I would just straight up believe you. It's the Starstorm Two mod. I don't think it can be beat in terms of like DLC mod quality. So yes, I highly recommend it. I mean, it comes with literally three characters, different environment types. Which is alright. Also T. Winner point. Here I see an equipment chest. A normal chest too. Oh. oh wait, hold up. Oh uh, yeah, that's gotta be a lot better, I think. Than the hundred percent crit for a limited time. Gotta be great for the early game. I hope we get more crit chance. But we'll see. Oh, wax quail. Uh, helps with the limited mobility. I also see a scrapper there, so we'll find it there. Oh, 
Oh. Careful there. Hunter Sigil, not that helpful. Weapon Daisy, not helpful at all. Good pop, you got to go. Everything else I like. Okay, about ninety percent. Do a quick check up here. Look like anything is available. So we're gonna hit it. But I would like to have one or two repulsion armor plates if I can help it. Pennies is Mediocre at best. Your syringe, and I'll take off a little wisp. There's some handy dandy AP. Instincts with ocular hood that might get us our unlock. Need to check the basement area. Fight the boss, and then we'll fight the the hidden boss. The heck?
So, Ocular HUD, very much an underrated item, I think. Because, I, mean, I shredded him. Maybe it's just on this character with how gouge works with crits, but that felt really good. And I understand I keep gushing about this mod, but this is so much more content for the game. They should do what they did for the Binding of Isaac uh, with the Repentance DLC. It used to be a mod set called Anti-Birth. And I think they should, uh, the Hopu developers should do something similar. Where they just adopt Starstorm 2 as official content. Because I feel like this mod, I mean this giant mod deserves the recognition. on that earlier. Be a little bit more careful. Cross Relic, not gonna lie, pretty boring. Okay, Daisy. And then, well, let's call it there, I think. Honey, for the road. Try and kill the wafer over here for some. Put me 
now it's swap out. Nope, not at all. Uh, this might not be the best idea, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna make the boss of the stage just a little bit harder for double payout. And I will say that's worth it, man. So the storm debuff? Uh, I'm gonna wait till that wears off before we actually attempt the boss. Because I believe enemies are just generically faster with this environmental hazard, we'll say. So we'll just explore a little bit more, collect a few more items, because great. We can watch. that ramp over here and we'll see what this chest has in store. Focus crystal, that's fantastic. Melee characters, pretty much all of them should have focus crystals. What's the exact number for that? 20% more damage if they're just close. Potion armor plate, thank goodness we got that sorted. Harvester scythe, oh my goodness. So it looks like the build is coming together rather nicely, I'd say. Boss, I'll see if it's good or not. For the grandparent or multiple grandparents? Fusions are great. Seven, eight, go. There's our blue portal. Yeah. See a red chest, but over across the map. I'm not tempted to take the Geth at. It's probably more impactful than whatever's in the red chest. It could be a legendary, but can't risk it. All right. Let's see what Nuke has in store for us.
Frost Relic. Does, does Frost Relic stack? This increases the range. No, thank you. Thinking. I don't think a tonic run would be beneficial. Overall one. For the heck of it. Does this last? Eight seconds. Okay. Just need to keep my equipment timer in mind from This is gonna be insane now. I just need. The tax speed's not high enough. That is. So that's what can happen when you don't know the modded content. So it looks, it looks like I was taken out by Nemesis Mercenary. Or we're gonna... Do right there, I think. So I know this was a very short episode. I would, I would like to get this out. I know you guys don't necessarily like to see losses, but that's what this uh, mod has in store for you. And it will only get harder with the new Typhoon difficulty, which I might preview in another video. So, if you like this content, please feel free to like and comment down below. If you want to see more things Alfred Monty, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell for all of my latest notifications. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.